Here are some other predictions for Ohio State. You see the FBI has them at 11.8 and 1.0. That would, of course, include a potential conference championship game. They give them about an 80% chance to make it to the Big Ten Championship. So you could say that loss could be coming in the regular season or maybe in the Big Ten Championship. It's hard to say. Uh, Athlon has them at 11-1. and one. They do have them winning the Big Ten, so they have them at 12-1. and one. They have them losing a regular season game. They don't go game by game, so I don't know who they have them losing to. It would be nice if they did, but uh, we just have to assume it's maybe Penn State on the road. I mean, that's kind of the most likely loss I would think that most people have for this Ohio State team. The over-under for them is at 10.5. Uh, it's hard to imagine them going... 10 and 2 again this year. I don't really see that happening. This team, my thoughts on this team, I think they're absolutely loaded on offense. There really is no weakness for Ohio State on the offensive side of the ball. They've got it all. Quarterback, stable of running backs, great wide receivers, tight ends are pretty good. Offensive line very solid. Really, I mean there's just no weakness for this Ohio State offense. Uh, they may have the best offense in the country. Look at the defensive side of the ball. I think Jim Knowles coming over uh, that's a great hire. I don't know if the personnel is there for them to have an elite defense, but I think it's there for them to have a really good defense, especially on the defensive line. That should be the strength of this team, and I think it will all start right there. If the defensive line can can get after the quarterback and they can stop the run without having to bring pressure or bring extra men, uh, that's going to go a long way in, in making this defense really good. Uh, again, linebackers, secondary, they're solid, but I don't know that I would say they're going to be going to be great in the back seven. So it will be all about that that defensive line. That is where it, it starts and ends for this Ohio State defense. If they can get a lot of production out of them, uh, this team is going to be very tough to beat. And I think they're a legitimate chance, a legitimate contender to win it all in 2022. So here's the schedule for Ohio State. Of course, Notre Dame in the non-conference will be the big game they have wisconsin out of the west they have iowa out of the west and they have northwestern out of the west so you know some people think wisconsin iowa the top two teams out of the west i don't necessarily agree with that and they get both of them at home so that's not a terrible draw at all i think here in the first game against ohio or when ohio state takes on notre dame i should say i think that's going to be a really interesting game I don't think Notre Dame has the type of offense that's going to be able to keep up, and I don't think their defense is going to be good enough to shut down this Ohio State offense. So I think Ohio State's going to actually pull away in that game. It'll be close for a while, but again, I don't see Notre Dame having uh, the offense. I just don't see them being able to score 30-plus uh, points in this game, which Ohio State probably will. And so that's why I'm going to go ahead and go with the Buckeyes there in the opener. After that, Arkansas State, Toledo, two pretty easy wins. I think we can go ahead and give them a win in both of those games. That will improve the record to 3-0. and Wisconsin coming up next on September 24th. The uh, Athlon Magazine actually has Wisconsin winning the West, so they would have Ohio State and Wisconsin playing twice. This game will be... Uh, in it's a home game for Ohio State, and it's very similar to, to what I was saying with Notre Dame. I just don't see Wisconsin having the offense. Their defense maybe slows Ohio State down just a little bit, but not enough to really have a chance to win this game. I think Ohio State pulls away, and they score a lot of points. Wisconsin just can't do it, and that'll be a fairly easy win for Ohio State. Again, maybe close till halftime, and then the Buckeyes pull away. Rutgers coming up next on October the 1st. I uh, don't really see this game being too much of a challenge. I think Ohio State wins, and they win big. Not really close at all. Next game against Michigan State on October the 8th. Uh, this is an interesting game here. I know last year was a blowout, and, and Ohio State really explo exposed that Michigan State secondary. And you can, can look back to that and say, well, Michigan State, they just it's a bad matchup. They don't have a chance in this game. But they'll make adjustments. They'll be improved. This Michigan State team is a team that I am very high on. And Michigan State is going to be home for this game. Because of that, I think they have a chance. A chance to pull off an upset. But I don't think it's going to happen. I just think Ohio State is too good. Michigan State's offense, not going to be able to score enough points. That's going to be a problem with a lot of the teams 
or for a lot of the teams that Ohio State plays this year. Look, look at this schedule. Who would you say has an, a really explosive offense, an offense that can go out and score 40, 50 points? Not really anyone that Ohio State plays. Uh, Maryland could be really explosive. Michigan is going to be good on offense. We'll get to them in just a second. But most of these teams, I mean, you just you don't really see them scoring a lot of points, even against an Ohio State defense that might not be great. Like I said, I think they'll be good. They might not be great. And because of that, you know Ohio State. I don't I don't care what defense they come up against. You know Ohio State's going to score a lot of points in every game that they play. And that's why I think there just isn't going to be too much of a challenge uh, from them for them on the schedule until they get to maybe that Michigan game. It'll come down to a game like Penn State, uh, playing them on the road where the offense just struggles for whatever reason. Uh, but back to the next game here, Iowa. They get a bye week before playing Iowa. It's a home game. Uh, again, Iowa does not have the offense to keep up. I know they pulled off some crazy upsets in, in previous years, but I don't see them doing it on the road. I've got, got Ohio State winning that game pretty easily. Similar to the Wisconsin game, similar to the Notre Dame game, maybe close for a half, but then they pull away and uh, wind up running away with it. Penn State coming up next on October the 29th. Road game, tough place to play. Penn State will be ready for this one. They'll be fired up. But I'm looking at this Penn State defense, and I've, I've studied all these rosters. I don't see Penn State's defense being all that great this year. And again, that's going to be a problem when Ohio State's offense is as good as it is. It'll come down to Penn State's offense. I mean, they've got some weapons. If they can slow the game down a little bit, run the football, kind of use that Oregon blueprint from last year, and Sean Clifford maybe goes out and has the game of his life, Penn State could possibly pull off an upset here. I don't see it happening, though. I think Ohio State's just too good. A closer game, probably the closest game of the season for Ohio State up until this point, but it's still not enough. I've got the Buckeyes winning this one. Northwestern coming up next on uh, November the 5th. This will be a road game for Ohio State. Uh, not a very tough place to play, though, and I think they go in there and dominate start to finish. Easy win for the Buckeyes. Indiana up next. On November the 12th, I think Indiana is going to be better than they were last year, but still nowhere near good enough to win this game. Another win for Ohio State. Next game here on November the 19th, on the road at Maryland, right before playing Michigan. Uh, if there's an upset alert game, I think this is it. This is the game you got to watch out for. Maryland should be very explosive on the offensive side of the ball, which means they might could, could handle a shootout with Ohio State. If this game goes back and forth, you never know. Maybe a turnover here, a turnover there. Something crazy happens, a bad call. Something could, could flip this game around and give Maryland a chance. I think they do. I think they do make this a shootout. It does kind of go back and forth. But at the end of the day, I think that, that, front, that pass rush for Ohio State, that's going to make a difference. They'll make a few plays late in this game. It'll be a bit of a scare, but they will come away with a win. They beat Maryland and they improve to 11 and 0. Final game of the season against Michigan. Michigan going to have a very high powered offense this year. I think they're going to be I think they're going to surprise people with how good they are on that side of the ball. But they lost a lot on defense and that's where I'm concerned about Michigan. Uh, some very very big big time players for them that they're not going to have. I think this is a great game back and forth shootout. I think Michigan has a chance to win it two years in a row, but in the horseshoe I'm going to go with Ohio State in a close one. Maybe one of the all-time classics in this rivalry should be a good one. But I think Ohio State finishes it off with a win. They go 12-0. It's an undefeated regular season for the Buckeyes. And then they will be one win away, of course, in the Big Ten Championship game from a college football playoff berth in 2022.